What's going on guys, I'm Marty back again with the weekly Rod Skins videos. This is just going to be a quick week this week and we are clearly finished with Halloween and we're back to normal skins. As you can see, the Templar stuff hasn't continued as of right now um, and we do actually have some new metal gear, which we'll quickly just have a look at. No clothing, we've got the armor, military chest plate and the military face mask. Overall, these actually both look pretty cool. And if this does become a set, then I do actually think this will be successful. So the military face mask and the military chest plate should both be pretty successful. But for $2.75, I do think that you should be able to pick this one up for a bit cheaper with the buy on the community market. So that's what I'm going to recommend to do for both of them. Um, but overall, I do think that if you get these as a play skin, as long as this set does continue, then you're going to make money from it. Um, but it is a little bit expensive on the Russellum store. Moving over to the Ancient Amber Hatchet and Metal Pick, going for $3.45. Um, this is a continuation of the um, Ancient Amber set now. We just had the Stone Hatchet and the Stone Pickaxe. The Stone Hatchet is going for $2.55 and the um, Pickaxe is going for $2.26. Overall, clearly, that's not going to make you money if you're buying it for $3.45. So I'm not going to recommend investing in the Ancient Amber metal tools. Um, I do think they're going to perform similar to what the stone tools are currently performing to. Obviously the metal tools are going to be used more throughout a wipe in comparison to the stone tools, um, but they do glow in the dark and that is, in my opinion, pay to lose, which definitely is not a good thing when it comes to trying to make money in um, the Rustam stores skin investing. Moving over to the Desert Storm LR, going for $2.75. This is literally just a desert themed, military themed um, LR. Uh, overall, to be honest, it doesn't stand out in my opinion. We've had a lot of other LR skins already accepted into the game, and I don't think this one is going to make you any profit. $2.75. I don't think it's going to sell very well. Currently, it's sixth on the top sellers. Um, but yeah, overall, not going to recommend investing in the Desert Storm LR for this week because I don't think it's going to make you money. Quickly moving over to the Tempered SAR, going for $5.50. Uh, the Tempered set is obviously a very successful, very popular, and a pretty high demand set but $5.50 is far too expensive for its starting price. And so I'm going to recommend getting this one off of the community market with a buy order to maximize your potential profits. But overall, the Tempered SAR should be a successful um, medium term investment. I do think it's gonna go up around uh, late December as in Christmas time or January, but overall $5.50, yeah, it's pretty expensive to be buying off the Ross I'm store for this week. In my opinion, you should be able to get that one for a little bit cheaper on the community market of the buy order, so that's what I'm going to recommend to do. So, not going to recommend investing in any of the weapons, um, at least from the Rust on store for this week. Um, let's look at the chain gate made by Bad Trip, going for two dollars and five cents. This is an interesting price. It's usually dollar ninety five. I'm pretty sure. Overall, though, not too bad, but definitely not a standout skin in my opinion. Sorry, Bad Trip, but I don't think this one's going to make you money. We have a million sheet metal door skins on the community market. Basically, not even an exaggeration at this point. Um, and I honestly don't think the chain gate is going to make you any profit because I don't think the demand is going to be there. Currently, it's second last on the top sellers, and that is just not um, a very good spot for it. As you can see, it clearly doesn't have very high demand. Moving over to the Desert Supply Box, going for $2.05. It is a small wooden box skin, and usually these are pretty good. Also, military themed skins are usually pretty good as well, so um, I do think you actually could make money off the Desert Supply Box. I just saw that it was last on the top sellers, as you can see here, top sellers last. Um, overall, I actually do think that's a really good spot for it because that means the demand for it isn't going to be um, crazy on the Rust Adam store, and so there is a very low chance of it getting oversaturated on the community market. Of course, that also does mean that the demand for it isn't going to be very high on the community market. Um, so I'm going to recommend trying to get this one off of the community market with a buy order to maximize your potential profits. But overall, with the Desert Supply Box, people do love the military-themed skins. And most people use the small wooden boxes. So overall, I will recommend investing in this one, um, but off of the community market. So pretty boring skin week this week. I'd recommend getting that one off the community market. Wouldn't recommend getting the tools. Would recommend getting the middle military metal gear um, off the store or the community market. But if you can, probably try and prioritize the community market. Desert Storm LR, wouldn't recommend getting. Chain Gate, I wouldn't recommend getting. It doesn't even have door in its name, so that's also another big thing that I um, don't really love, to be honest. And the Desert Supply Box, I do think you should probably try and pick this one up on the community market as well. But not going to show my cart for this week because I'm not logged in clearly and honestly I can't really be bothered to do it right now. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and remember, have a skits one.